Hi, let's learn how to move, rotate and control the ruler in PowerPoint and learn how to draw lines at any angle or even draw parallel lines at any angle. The reason why I made this video is it is not intuitive to control the ruler in PowerPoint. Let me show you how to change that. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide. First, let us insert the ruler onto the screen. For that, you need to go to the Draw tab and click on Ruler option. Now, this is the ruler and you can use it to draw lines. For example, I can use the pen tool in draw tab and I can draw a line like this. I don't really have to be very precise with drawing my lines. As long as I have my ruler in place, I would be able to draw the line at any angle. Now, if I want to move this a little further, I can click and move this further and then I can draw the line once again and you can see that we have a perfectly drawn parallel lines. This option is quite useful in any number of situations. For example, if you're a maths teacher and you want to draw a certain diagram in your geometry class, you can use this option. If you are an engineer and you want to draw a technical diagram, you can use this option. Now, the big question is, how do you change the angle of this ruler? You can see that it is pretty much stuck at one angle. No matter what keys you press on your keyboard, you would find it difficult to rotate the ruler. So how do we solve the issue? You need to first enter into ruler manipulation mode. For that, you first click on the ruler, then hold the shift button while you hit the F6 key on your keyboard. Now you've entered ruler manipulation mode. Now you can use the combination of the Alt key and the arrow keys to rotate your scale by 15 degree increments. Now let me hold the Alt key and then use my right arrow key. You can see that I'm able to rotate it by the increment of 15 degrees. Now, when I go further, you would see that the angle will reduce Alt and then right arrow key. You can see that it is reducing the angle. So it goes from zero to 90 degrees. The same way, if you want to rotate it anti-clockwise, hold the Alt button and use your left arrow key and you would be able to rotate it by 15 degree increments. Now, how do you rotate the ruler by one degree increments? Now, you need to hold your Control, Alt and then use your right or left arrow keys. Now, I'm using left arrow key and you can see that it is going in the anti-clockwise direction and you can see the movement in one degrees. Now, if I use my right arrow key, it moves like this. So using your Alt and arrow keys or Control and Alt arrow keys, you can rotate your ruler to the precise degree you want. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.